Okay. Hair and makeup done now. I don't know. <laughs> Fly down up. You move. Glasses straight. These really? things back. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, everything's, everything's looking good. I think you could do with some eyeliner. <laughs> what about some eyeliner like Boy George? Oh, oh, some of that. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, well, then they have that. Then bugger off. <laughs> Your eyes, so we could put the Oh, I've got brave. I'm recording this. Oh, you're not. I am, sir. Oh, you can play it back. <laughs> in the minute when I've done the thing, I'll put some in. <laughs> right. <Ooh. laughs> this is what I have to pull up to it. Welcome to part four of the How To Do It series on English caravans. <clears throat> if you happen to like the videos, please press the uh, like button by all means and leave me a message underneath if there's something you would like to see. Press the subscribe button and ring the bell and you will get an email when I post videos. In this uh, section, we're going to have a look at the electrics in the caravan, um, how to drain the water out of the Truma tank, the mats for outside, and some solar power and anything else that I have time to get in. So, without any further messing around, we will carry on with the video. Somewhere on your caravan, you might have a box similar to this one. It's the sergeant and it has a lot of bells and whistles in there which helps you when you're setting up and you can also check out your battery levels as well while you're doing things. Just underneath the uh, LED printout there there is a small box with the all the caravan fuses. Very easy to get to in this van. Some vans it's a little harder. With the uh, explanation of what fuse does what, it makes it simple if something stops working. Please don't take the top off the box at home and if you do make sure that the power is off, I'm doing this just to show you where the battery charger is in this model. As you know, English caravans have 12 pins normally. We only use seven pins here in New Zealand. And I did have some trouble as one side of the van didn't work on the side lights. I had to put a link wire in to make that work. That's where you plug the power in and also the battery in the sealed compartment to the outside of the van. We're talking about electrics. Uh, this is the solar panel on the top of the van. Pardon my finger across the screen. I was standing on the top of a ladder and I couldn't see what I was doing. The, I had to cut the bracket uh, at this end to make sure that this particular panel fitted. That's where the cables go directly into the caravan. To clean the solar panel, I just usually use a wet mop. Not too wet, but just wet enough to get rid of any bird dirt from the top and the pollen that uh, we have plenty of in this area. Uh, it makes a reasonable sort of job and uh, doing this with one hand while I'm holding the camera with my left wasn't easy. <laughs> but never mind, we got that done. I usually clean uh, the top just with ordinary water, not with any liquids at all. And then I'll put a, a duster on it and just move the duster backwards and forwards just to polish up the surfaces. It is relatively important. I do realise that this is not the best one to use uh, for the solar power controller, but it's what I had in stock here, so used it just for the time being. To winterise your caravan, and in the cold areas, yes, it is important. You must empty the water tank. You lift up the little yellow tab down the side of the tank, and the water will drain out to the underneath side of the caravan. Just press it back and that's fine. If you're traveling uh, and you're using gas rather than the electricity to heat the water, the cowling on the outside of that panel must come off. The rear of your Thetford toilet, uh, there is of course the uh, 
bin which everything goes into, the tank. Uh, you can take that out very, very simply indeed when you go to the dump station. The inside of that tank uh, is very simple to use and keep it clean of course. You will find a drain of some sort that you can take the water, the flush water, out of the tank if you wish to do so when you're traveling and then just put everything back so it doesn't drip and carry on. It's only clean water of course. You pop the tank in very very simply and secure it to stop it from sliding around. It has got to stay in position quite obviously and in this case mine was just a little bit tight and now it's secured. Please lock the door of this when you finish doing everything because those tanks if they take them out are over $200 something you can't really afford to lose. Just above there is the water inlet uh, which you put your additive and the water into. The seat uh, unit can be turned round to suit any position and when flushing you will notice at the back of the toilet a little outlet which the pink water in this case comes out and flushes into the uh, base of the tank and then of course you move the lever underneath and everything just drops away into the tank underneath and that's the button that you use to start the flush. This is the mat that we use it's very strong and easy to put down it's got plenty of eyelets around it and the doesn't leave a brown mark when you if you've been there for a week or so. We also use those pins which are really good for rocky ground. Another important tool is steps. You have to get in and out of the caravan comfortably and these are very strong and I did paint them up and make them look a lot better. Added some little round things to the feet so they didn't sink through the mat and uh, then start wobbling on uneven ground. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and the little bit of fun we had to start the video off. If you have enjoyed it, press the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and then you'll get an email, especially if you hit the bell as well and uh, then they'll send you an email whenever I upload a new video. Next time, in part five, we'll be looking at LED lighting, leaking window seals. Now, this is quite important for the older caravans, and uh, we certainly don't want damage on the inside of the vans, but you can rejuvenate them basically for no cost at all. We have leveling wedges. Now, leveling wedges, especially if you're on uneven ground in some of the parks, they come in very handy. And then we'll have a look at the varying types of awnings that are available for your caravan. So for now, take cheerio and hope you're very well wherever you are. Bye for now.